helping your dad do his projects, so. Okay, I'll be Okay, it'll be a minute. Yes, I'm live. Dad said you'd give me something to wipe off the wall out there. Use one of the yellow cloths it's outside. All right, thank you, sir. Tell him I'm live. Totinos. Totinos. Yeah, they're not just those. Are those are the pizza roll places. Yeah, they also make the Tostitos. Tor Tostitos. Not Totinos. Totinos makes the pizza rolls. I, I, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. All right, so calls for one teaspoon. I always like to do a little extra because I like a little extra taco seasoning. You can buy one of these nice industrial size, a um, little better bang for your buck. I don't know what happened to my bamboo tongs. Have you seen them, Isaac? No. I have not either. 
I guess I'll use my little cook's tongs, but I don't like these ones as much for this type of job. Alright. Why don't you just use a fork? Because I don't feel like getting a fork out. Alright. It's as easy as that. Let's put those aside. Now, partial head of garlic. I'm going to take our garlic peeler because we can put in the whole clove there. We don't have to crush it or anything. I'm going to take two cloves of garlic. And then I'm going to roll them. Quick roll. Maybe. Yep. Oh, it did. Okay. One. All right. These two. A little bit of salt and pepper. Forgot to grab that out. And you guys know my handy dandy measuring tool of my hand. All right, let's pop a little pepper in there just for a little bit of added kick. All right, now all we have to do, twist on, come over here to sauce. First stage is gonna be 176 degrees. It's a two stage setting. So it's gonna heat to one part, have me add in the roux that I'm gonna make, and then it's gonna finish heating. So then that way it doesn't steep up and it makes a nice creamy sauce. Now remember that our blades are nice and dull. They're not super sharp, so you're not gonna slice yourself um, automatically with that. Um, but it pulverizes the food, so it helps make it smoother versus cutting it up and just having it not. All right, so I acquired some eggs. And I'm going to hard boil them. So I'm using our large steamer basket. We also have a little insert that you can use for eggs. I'm going to pop it right in here. And then I have a cup of water. I'm just going to pour in there. Now, the more eggs you have in here, the less time you need to cook it for. Okay? So. That makes uh, no sense. Hmm? It makes no sense. Well, it takes, there's less room, so it takes less time to have the pressure come up. It's very interesting. Or more time. All right, so what I'm going to go to is custom on this. I'm going to move the time down to four minutes. And actually, I want to make sure I have everything. Because this is one of those things where everything has to be just right. There we go. You want to make sure this is lined up and flushed and down. The red button's down. Everything's ready. Then press go. And now we're going to come up to temperature. Let's get our dinner started. All right, let me get my pan preheating. I'm going to cook my cauliflower rice. Steams in bag, but I hate actually cooking it in those. So I'm going to pull it out and put it in our smallest micro cooker. This is our one quart micro cooker, all right? So, of course my scissors aren't there. All right, so, a lot of times, like when I'm making rice or other stuff, I really like to make a double batch. Um, so then that way I can keep it in the fridge to maybe use for lunchtime or something else to make it easy peasy. I'm gonna pop this in. And go with this, throw this away, and then once that's all done, I am going to get my roux ready. So I'm just going to get my butter ready to melt, and and this is our two cup, easy read measuring cup. I use the one cup for here. We have a one cup, two cup, four cup, and a quarter cup. So makes it easy. I can see all the markings from right here. I'm not having to bend and check. I can tell exactly how much I have in there, no matter what. And the markings are baked into the middle, so you don't have to worry about the markings coming off of them. Let me put that away. All right, so I'm going to use our kitchen spritzer. Tighten it back up, and then you pump it until it's hard to do. That means it's got enough pressure, okay? And then you take and spray, spray, spray. There we go. All right, so that's ready to go. This is our stainless nonstick wok. I love this thing. All right. Then the flexible cutting mat, kind of. The chicken is sticking to it. All right. Now, I like to use like the spatulas like this to help cook that stuff, so that's what I'm gonna do. 
And I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt and mix it around. All right? Beautiful. So, Isaac, can you get a little bit of close up here on the sides to see where the waffle shapes are? The little hexagons or whatever they are? All right, so you see how that is? That's gonna help the food actually sear like normal stainless does. You can pull it back now. Um, it helps to create like a fine, but yet the food still releases and it's way easier to cook, it's way easier to clean up. These are oven safe up to 450. They are dishwasher safe, I never do either. Well, actually I do in the oven sometimes, but I don't dip, throw them in the dishwasher because they're super easy to clean. Um, if the outside gets dirty, you can use some barkeeper's friend to help keep it clean. Uh, but other than that, these things are amazing. I love all of our pans. We've got the nacho sauce going. I've got this going. We're going to let this cook some before I add in my peppers and onions. Uh, and then the quick cooker is working on coming to pressure. As it wants to show them the quick cooker and how it's coming to pressure. My little artist. Do we get anybody commenting and telling us hello? One person said Happy Easter. Well, good. Who was it? Lisa Sullivan. Good. Well, Happy Easter, Lisa. You can tell them Happy Easter. Uh -huh. You don't have to be all teenager-y. What are they working on? They're putting the tongue and groove underneath the bike rack thing that we just installed. Another know what product. That means. Yeah, so I figured you could opt into this instead. Yeah. Tomorrow. We are going to have some ham. I think I'm going to make some all gratin potatoes, so some like nice cheesy potatoes. Um, and then I'm going to do some deviled eggs. And then I think I'm going to do uh, carrots and green beans. Alright, so I don't know if I'm going to want to use all of this. See how it's, I mean, I didn't have to use hardly any oil. And a lot of times with the stainless, you have to use a lot more oil, or you even have to, when you're just first seasoning in cast iron, you have to use a little bit more oil. So this is a nice option to have, and I can hear the hammering of them. They're working. Aren't you glad you're missing it? Yeah. I did two hours of that yesterday. I know, we got it, we got it fixed up now, though. We make it in the shape of a bunny. A what? Bunny. A bunny? Is that what you said or a bunny? Bunny. Oh, okay. Well, I think there's some bunny shapes in the things. Let me look. Oh. Let me check it out. Alright, so. You guys, we got all of our cool molds. No judgments here. I on could my... cut a bunny too. Let's see. Nope, that's the summer one. That one's really cute, though. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, look. See, there's some really nice bunnies and an Easter basket a and a sheep. So we're going to try to make this work. I haven't made it yet, so. And then we're going to make some house, a house with decoration. We what do, do you Christmas. think? No, we don't need to do Christmas. We did miss out on our Christmas. I think I'm going to do a sugar why don't we put a ton of Why don't we put a ton of bunnies around the house? Like you're multiplying like rabbits. You find yourself hilarious, don't you? I really do. I really do. All right. <laughs> it's the little things in life, you know? All right, let me see here. Those are still frozen. Huh? Those are still frozen. Yeah, I know. They're still frozen. They're going to get nicely cooked. All right, so let's look at this ratio. Alright, beautiful. I'm gonna leave this much. How about you grab me a Twixit clip? Did you guys know that our Twixit clips are actually freezer safe, refrigerator safe? And if they ever lose their shape and aren't working, 
You can actually boil them and pop them back into shape. Smaller one. I don't need a giant pot for this. Thank you. And now I'm going to actually add a little bit of spinach in there too. I have some. Um, got some cut leaf spinach that I'm going to add um, just because I think that's a really good addition. It's a lot of spinach. It really isn't. All right, we'll need another tipsy cup. Oh, Ooh, good. And our cauliflower rice. Okay, good. All right, let's put that on. Trixie Clip, you can tell all my fun colors. I've been collecting Trixie Clips for a long time. No? Been around ever since I've remembered. They've changed the colors over the years. All right. So, let's look at this beautiful cauliflower rice that I know most of my family will not eat. Nope. But that's okay. That's why we have the regular rice. Now, we're going to oh, go ahead hey. and melt this butter. Almost press three minutes instead of 30 seconds. That would have been tough. All right. There we go. All right. I'm going to add the sauce here for a minute, in a minute here, and then add the lid on so it can all simmer <coughs> and get yummy and delicious, right? Because that's what we want. No, why don't I show you my jar open? Those of you guys who have arthritis, like me, I probably will yet, yet, because I'm going to. Children that do. Because I'm going to in the future, either that or diabetes. Well, let's hope never. All right. Well, it's a good chance, ninety percent. No, not really. Some of it. Grandpa had it. Grandma had it. Dad had it. Whether you turn on the gene or not, it's it can be. Well, David or I will have it. We'll see. And I've shown, I've shown signs of hypoglycemia. But it all goes into whether you turn on the gene or not a lot of times. And that's does by environmental factors and diet. All right. This is why I'm wearing an apron today. And this is why I hardly ever wear white. All right. <coughs> Got to be smarter than the sauce. All right. So. This looks beautiful and brightly colored, and my cauliflower rice is going to be delicious with it. Adding some extra veggies. Now I'm going to let that simmer, and I'm going to check this out. All right, so this is melted. I'm going to add my cornstarch because I do want it gluten-free. So do cornstarch. And I actually, when I'm doing sauces and gravy, I actually do prefer the cornstarch. I think the texture is better. It's smoother. It's silkier. Um, it clumps less. So it's really a lot easier to work with. Now, when you're making a roux, it's generally something like a flour or cornstarch, and then a fat, which is butter. And it helps to smooth, it helps to thicken up the sauce and keep it yummy and delicious. You can just see the baby mini skinny scraper. It's so cute, right? Um, okay, we don't need to show Zeke eating everything because I did drop a jar of olives earlier. Oh, he's today. licking. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's probably because of me. So, all right. So the quick cooker should hopefully be coming up to pressure soon. We're going to be able to add this here in a few minutes. And we've got this dinner cooking multitasking easy because I'm hands off with these. I can just shift between the other stuff. And I've done some pre prep work that's only taking a few minutes. So I can have dinner ready to go fast and easy. All right. And pardon Zeke while he checks it out and eats it. All right, I'm gonna give this a little stir. Oh yeah. Oh, Isaac, do you smell this? Oh, well, I can still just smell the beets from earlier. I can't smell the beets. You guys are your beets. I'm gonna have to figure out a good recipe to hide them in. All right. The brownies. We do like the brownies. The beet brownies. So, oh good. Quick cooker has four minutes left. We're gonna let that come. Finish up and then we're going to cool it quickly. So what we what they suggest is doing an ice bath. I usually just run some cold water under it, over it, and that's all. All right, so the roux is ready. We have it 
sitting here ready to go, ready to just add in when this hits 174. Dinner's just got a few minutes left of cooking. You can smell it looking delicious and cooking up beautifully. Sauce is looking great. Eggs are almost done. We're going to cool those off. Rice is already done. We'll be ready to eat within 10 minutes. So, all right, guys, I want to hear what you guys are doing for Easter. And no, we're not really gathering. Um, but we're still having, we're still doing normal Easter. We're still going to have our church service online, which is what we've been doing anyways before this. And we are going to enjoy some fun family time. And I think it's supposed to storm tomorrow, too. That'll keep it real exciting. Um, but have an amazing Easter. I can't wait to hear what you guys are having for Easter dinner and maybe even what you guys are having for dinner tonight. Maybe takeout, maybe something else. Um, I know my sister, they've been doing it once a week. We've just been doing it sometimes when we're here and there. Um, getting to, you know, pick and choose what we want to do. So, um, saving us tons of money, even though we're going through more groceries. Way cheaper. Um, all right, guys. Have an amazing day. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.